couldn't be more deserving. Uh, he's dedicated his entire life to the natural stone industry. Uh, he loves it. It's in his blood. He is just the number one person that I go to when it comes to stone and understanding and procuring. Leadership is something that you're born with. Uh, Brett is one of these. How appropriate. As a great leader of the Marble Institute of America slash Natural Stone Institute, you truly are a one of a kind. Tony Malassani said in his letter nominating Brett Rugo for the McGlory Award, that Brett has been and continues to be a champion for both the Natural Stone Institute and our industry around the world. His passion for natural stone, as well as the incredible body of work he's completed, were the two motivating factors in my nominating Brett Rugo for the 2021 Migliore Lifetime Achievement Award. One typically expects a Lifetime Achievement Award to be given to someone much older, but a recognition of Brett's career success and impeccable reputation to date almost seems overdue. Rugo Stone employee Mark Savaloni remarked, My first impression was why uh, such a young man was receiving an award for his uh, lifetime achievements here. I hope they're not complete. So, uh, but I was uh, uh, surprised, but, but not surprised. Um, he, he obviously has been contributing to the uh, industry for a long time. Other close associates agree the time is right. We started as a two young marble men in training, and now he became a professor, so it's, it's something important. Well, I was very proud of him. Um, I've, again, I've known him for such a long time. I know how hard he works, and I know how meticulous he is in, in his craftsmanship. Uh, and, and that's really a dying art, in not just the stone business or my business, but throughout the construction industry. And one of the things that impressed me so much about Brett, he's, his meticulousness and his, his desire and his passion to do it right the first time. That same passion for stone was an essential element in Brett's motivation to help create the Craftsman of the Year Award, an award designed to celebrate the hands, the minds, the skill, the craft that forms the beautiful works of art from the blocks and slabs that we get from the quarries. Born in Barrie, Vermont, the grandson of an Italian stone carver, Brett knew early in his life that his passion was to work with one of nature's most majestic and timeless materials. When asked about some of the key influences in his life, Brett began with his parents. Certainly it starts with my parents. I, you know, I was raised by really fine people um, with tremendous work ethic and they taught me right from wrong, and they taught me hard work and diligence and dedication in spite of all the obstacles. Uh, early in my career, I had the great benefit to work for Ken Castellucci, and I was an employee of Moliterno Stone. Working for this man was instrumental in terms of really building my own network and my own uh, awareness of all the different sources and all the players within the industry, and uh, he was very gracious with all the opportunities that he gave me. Castellucci remarked, what I saw immediately in Brett was his tireless energy and his eager to learn. The potential that I saw in Brett was that he paid attention to detail. In 1997, when Brett struck out on his own with deep knowledge and vast experience, he quickly earned a reputation as a can-do contractor with an ability to handle the most complex projects and became an expert on the industry. There's probably not a question you couldn't ask him that he didn't have the answer for. If you want to talk to somebody about the stone industry, he is your man, nobody else. Ever seeking knowledge or an opportunity to share, Brett joined the Marble Institute of America in 2000. Brett's individual industry association accomplishments began with his appointment to the board of directors in 2004, and he ultimately became president in 2010. He pushed forward an agenda emphasizing development of new cutting-edge topics and updating the existing chapters of the Dimension Stone Design Manual to keep the industry up to date with changes in construction techniques and building codes. Brett Rugo's legacy will be one as a leader in the renaissance and the use of natural stone in the building industry. His works will be celebrated for millennia. Brett can also be credited for initiating the development of the association's accreditation program. Brett always believes that uh, the industry has to be standardized, and this was an excellent opportunity to 
achieve achieve those standards and to create a benchmark for companies to follow and to achieve we were the first uh, company to become a commercial a co contractor and a natural stone fabricator when brett speaks of his company's success he's the first to give credit to his talented team it's an admirable quality and his friend Vito adds his own five guiding principles to describe Brett's best qualities. Honor, dignity, respect, integrity, and passion. Five very simple concepts. Brett not only has those qualities and values, he defines them. How does Brett define his role in this team effort of success for Rugo Stone? Well, I think I, I realized early on that I was a good captain, but you have to have all-star players and you have to have people that are willing to take uh, direction and use their skills, which uh, were often better than mine in individual disciplines. I've always been a believer that hire smarter, hire better in disciplines that complement the overall team effort. And I'm very proud of many of the employees. Brett and his team at Rugo Stone have earned an impressive 22 Pinnacle Awards and four Tucker Design Awards over the life of these awards programs. And dozens of other organizational accolades have recognized his knowledge, skill, creative problem solving, and dedication to the highest quality and standards. He credits those to his team, not just him. But I think on an individual basis, winning the Benaretti Medal from Pope Francis uh, for our work at the Trinity Dome was an unbelievable moment as a, as a Catholic, receiving an award of service um, for all the years of dedication and quality that I've put into the work that we do within the Catholic Church work uh, from the Pope was a, a tremendous um, accomplishment and one that I'm very proud of. We can surely expect the legacy of his good work to continue to impact others. When asked about the importance of a philosophy for mentoring young people, Brett said, I think we probably got about 30, 35 years of, of good years of work within our body of life. And I think anybody that's intelligent and really has passion for this industry needs to be forthcoming and share their knowledge and their experience with younger people so that the same level of standards, the same usage continues on for the next generation. And inspiring young people that do have the passion for the stone industry, I think is part of our obligation as leaders. There are plenty of his colleagues who are grateful. He's a leader that people want to follow uh, to, to achieve great um, heights in stone. Brett, congratulations on your uh, achievement. You've always showed me not to do my best, but to be the best, and it's well deserved. Brett, I want to thank you for your years of mentoring me in the stone industry and teaching me a great deal. Congratulations on this honor and this recognition that you received. Extremely well deserved. Brett, congratulations on the Migliori Award, an award well deserved. In our estimation, you're a true marble man. Obviously, it's in your blood and your soul. Again, congratulations. From the bottom of my heart, congratulations. Thank you, Brett, for all you've done, and congratulations. It's nice to have you part of our team of uh, award winners and uh, it couldn't be more deserving for you. Congratulations, Brad. Congratulations again. You are the Brad has been at this for a long time, and every job that I've worked on with Brett, or everyone I've talked to where Brett has been involved, it's always been about the perfection and the quality of the installation, along with demand for high quality materials. Brett, I have worked with you for almost 25 years now. And so Brett, as you get this award, I am very happy for you. I'm honored to have known you and worked with you, and I wish you blessings not only on this award, but in all the days that you have ahead. Congratulations to Brett Rugo, the 2021 recipient of the Miglori Award for Lifetime Achievement.